हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास टूडे विल बी स्टडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू सिक्योरिंग द स्टोरेज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द वर्चुअलाइज एंड क्लाउड एनवीरमेंट्स एज वी हैव सीन इन द ट्रेडिशनल डेटा सेंटर्स देर आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द थ्रेड्स रिलेटेड टू द डेटा सो वी नीड टू सिक्योर दैट वन बट द मोर इम्पैक्ट और द मोर डेटा दैट हैज़ टू बी सिक्योर्ड ओवर इज द वर्चुअलाइज एंड द क्लाउड एनवीरमेंट्स because more members are adapting this cloud and virtual environments now when i'm i've already been said that we have seen the various models uh, such as the public cloud the private cloud hybrid and the community cloud based on this one there are the security issues related to these clouds as i've already said that when we are trying to adapt to the public cloud we need to, the security is not been compromised but the problem is it is more expensive when as compared to public cloud it is very easy it is available to all the people but there are some issues related to the security of the data so in the uh, storage also related to the virtualized and the cloud environments there are some concern that is related to the security there are some concerns and what are those measures we need to adapt to provide the security and the first one is a multi tenancy multi tenancy is it is going to enable the multiple independent tenants to be serviced using the same set of the resources simple a single device is been shared to the multiple members you have to make sure that it is been secured whenever you are sharing the resources make sure that the attacker is not going to misuse the resource and because of which the data has to be compromised then the second one is velocity of attack in the velocity of attack for example if in the traditional data center when an attack takes place it is uh, the spread is very slow because it has to be transferred from one system to the another system but it doesn't happen in the cloud because over the clouds it is going to spread rapidly so we have to adapt such algorithms so that it is going to stop and the third one is information assurance so it has to assure the users whoever is using this cloud and the virtual environments that the confidentiality integrity and availability of the data data is being genuine and the others user other users whoever are operating this one are also genuine right and the last one is uh, data privacy where we are concerned with the data and we have to provide the personally identifiable information to each and every user or in terms of the client and these all information should not be disclosed moving on to the next one is a security measures so what all measures can be applied so that the data over the cloud or the virtual environments it can be protected so the first one is at the compute level second is at network level and the third one is at the storage level so let's see about how do we provide the security at the computer level so when we are talking about the compute level that means the infrastructure what i am been providing so how do i secure that one in this one we are having the three main components the first one is physical server second one is hypervisor and the third one is vm and guest operating system the physical server we have to provide the security to the physical server in terms of the authentication and authorization and whenever i am connecting the devices to this a physical server we have to make sure that which devices are been used if in case you have been using the usb ports and you are using the network interface cards make sure that which ports should be enabled and which port should be disabled if in case you are not using the hardware then please make sure that those uh, ports should be disabled to avoid the attacks simple the second one is the hypervisor a uh, hypervisor is nothing but it is a single point on which all the vms will be running and if in case this vm if in case this hypervisor is going to fail all the vms running on this one will be compromised so all the vms are going to be failed so we have to make sure that this hypervisor is been continuously updated and it is installed on each and every system and if there are any malicious attacks on this one 
then it has to be reported to the management and the last one is vm and iso vm and the guest operating system so we have to make sure that whatever the uh, virtual machines we are implementing they have to be protected and the operating system uh, it is been installed it has to be at the hypervisor level and we have to make sure that what configurations have to be given to the users what configurations have to be given to the administrators we need to set them properly and according to that the access should be provided so that we can uh, control all the devices at the computer level the next one is the security at the network level so we need to provide the security so that there are no more vulnerabilities as already have been said vulnerability is the access point through which an attacker is trying to get into the system and he is trying to steal the data so for this one in the virtualized and the cloud environments we can install the firewalls next one is intrusion detection demilitarized zone and the last one is encryption of data in flight the first one is a firewall as everyone knows that it is going to allow only the authorized uh, people to communicate and in the virtual and the cloud environments we can install the virtual firewalls through which it is been uh, checking the data it is going to filter the packets and it is transferring the data from one system to the another system in the intrusion detection system we are looking at the events that have been taking place if any of the malicious uh, activity or anomalous activity is going on it has to be reported and it has to be stopped at that particular period of the time and in the demilitarized zone and data encryption we are looking at the uh, the zone where the the users are not been allowed they are not able to access the data except the managers and the administrators and the data whenever it is been transferred from the source to the destination we make sure that the data is been encrypted and it is at that same time it is decrypted and the strength, uh, the algorithms that are being used are of the very uh, they are been providing a higher level security and the next one is the security at the storage level as we have already seen that we need to provide more security at the compute level that means the infrastructure and at the network level now there is a point that when we are providing more security the same time wherever we are going to store the data even that also has to be managed properly so we need to provide the access control methods to the users or the processes whoever is using the storage system not all the access should be given to all the users right the second one is zoning and lun masking so based on the devices and the resources available and the data it has been there to we have to create the zones to the users based on which they can access that data right and even the data that is been transferred from the logical units also should be masked it the access should not be given to all the users so these all has to be managed properly and we need to encrypt the data even at the storage system and and also when the data is been transferring over the link right and we have to also provide the encryption whenever we are backing up the data so that it is easy to uh provide the confidentiality and the data integrity can also be maintained and the last one is data shredding so it is going to remove the the traces of the deleted data so it, it may so happen that many people will delete the data but still yet there will be some links or some pointers related to that so the attackers are going to use these links and they are going to build up the data or they are trying to extract the data so never leave any traces of the data so it has to be completely uh, deleted so these are the ways through which we can uh, secure the data in the virtualized and the cloud environments thank you